So let's get started on this actual tutorial. Uh, you're going to be probably working a lot more in Task Studio than I am, but I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how far we get. Um, so yeah. the first thing is uh, you need to go to File and uh, Open ROM or Recent and load the ROM that way. Hmm. It's, it's grayed out. It's probably because I'm already in Test Editor. Should close it, right? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Do that. All right. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that, that was it. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is um, you should be able to press the... So we're, our screens are identical. You should show the same thing that I'm showing, which is to say uh, press the, the apostrophe key, so the first controller is showing in the lower left corner, and press the uh, period key so that the, uh, the, the frame is shown, and then go to config and display and check on lag counter to also show that. That's going to be really important for us. OK, so right. now our views are the same. You're on frame 0, and you have no movie loaded. So what you're going to do now is go to File, and Movie, and Record. Right. And we are both in the state of, of movie recording started. Now, I don't know what you've bound your keys to, but make a save state on slot, uh, slot 0, or well, actually, it doesn't matter, uh -huh. any slot. I didn't reconfigure anything, so I'm so going to go and look at what's, uh, what's Probably normal. U and P is my best guess. U and P? So, so it's not U. OK, it's I and P. I and P. OK, I shifted them over a bit. <laughs> oh, I had to shift them over because I use IJKL. Uh, that's yeah, fine. yeah. OK, so I just shifted mine because of my own weirdness, but that's OK. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. So now you have a movie saved. We're going to go through the process that we just did in Super Mario Brothers 3, except you're going to teach me how to do it. <laughs> all right. Um, so frame advance, I put, did I put that? All right. And so I want to try and take any arbitrary number and try to, can, if I can start the game by pressing the button I bind to um, start. And then running the movie, what's the key for that? Um, in my case, I've bound it to A. Yours is pause break, probably. All right. Uh, I'm going to go and check that out. In the meantime, I'd like to point out something that's of, of interest to you. I'm on frame 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there, there was one frame or so somewhere in here of, in, yeah, OK, so. Oddly, frame 10 is, the, is a frame where there is no lag. Every other frame, okay. you can see the lag counter is increasing, that red number in the lower left corner. So we're 18 yeah. frames into the game, but 17 of those have been lag frames. <laughs> so <laughs> lag frames are, games are, on, are, are frames where the input is not taken. Okay. In fact, Ouch. we're all the way at frame 30 before we have the first major... Yeah, so frame 30 is the first frame where this blue menu shows up. And interestingly, there's this frame on frame 10 where it briefly accepts input. Who knows why? Uh, I'm going to try pressing start on that just to see what happens. Nothing happens, as I expected. All so right. okay. your best bet is probably to start at frame 29. Well, yeah, yeah like there. 29 or 30, yeah. Uh, I'm going to put mine on 30 because I don't think anything's going to work on 29. And I'm going to make a new save state there. Yeah. What's the name yeah. of the thing I'm trying to... I'm going to turn Just down my volume more, the by game? the way. Uh, for, uh, play or pause, I think, is the name. I'm going to turn my volume back down on the... Well, there's pause, so playing pause again would play the movie, right? Yeah, yes. yeah it's a toggle. All right. <clears throat> um, let's try that out. Okay. Um, so I can frame advance like that, and on frame 31 I have... And so when the upper left number is green, it means that this in access. That's the first one that has it is not a lag frame. And then from there on out, it'll just stay green. OK. So I can try right now to press the key I bind to start, and then press the, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, so okay. clearly that frame. Now, now we're going to go, say, I'm going to go to all the way to frame 60. 
And remember, you hold down the Start key, and then while still holding down the Start key, you press the Frame Advance button. It's almost like a corded right. keyboard, you could say. Like a what? Like a, almost like a corded keyboard. By the way, it's frame 60 worked, so I'm going to try frame 50 next. Let's say 50, yeah. And 50 didn't so work I'm for me. So press Start, and then press the pause button at the same time. Not like pause, you don't want to free run. I mean, you could free run if you wanted to, but you probably want to okay. get in the habit of, of frame advancing once. Just frame advancing and yeah. then release And then again. let go. Yeah, the reason for that is because if you yeah. only press the button for one frame, you'll know mm -hmm. that you only press the button for one frame. Exactly, okay. So I can find which frame was uh, uh, the one that did start the menu or did not. Yeah. Now, right. I'm probably going to pause you here um, before we go a lot farther, I want you to be able to see, at least see the uh, Task Studio view. Um, I admit I'm not as qualified to handle it as others are, because quite frankly, mm -hmm. I just don't do a lot with Task Studio. Um, I have in the past used tools like it, but the reality is I still do most of it unless I'm editing a task in this method, yeah. just because of the type of content that I tend to mess with. But you should open up Task Studio now. Uh, which was in Tools? Yeah. Task Editor. All yeah, right. ta I'm sorry, Task Editor in FCEUX. Yeah. And you can put that on, yeah, that might, that's probably best for you. Whoops. Yeah. Oops. There you go. All right, so what you see here is a piano roll. Remember me talking about player pianos before? Yes. Well, guess what? This Taskbot is, this... is nothing more and nothing less than a player piano. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same tool as Link 77. Uh... If I'm correct, so I think I do have a bit of an understanding of how it basically works. Like on the left side, you have all the frames, and then you have the button presses, and you can check a square to say on frame 18, it will pushes the B button, right? Yeah, and when you did that, you um, you, you saw that it put a section of it as green. That's showing you how far. Um, how do I say this? That's showing you. Um, how do I phrase this? It's basically showing where the game execution is run to. If you click to the far left of that. Here? Yeah, there's a box on the far left side that you can check on that'll run to that frame. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. And so that's how far you've, you've run so far. Um, and and the, red, uh, the red one means that it wouldn't accept inputs, and the green one correct. is... Yeah, that was a lag frame where right. it wasn't accepting input. All right. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So here's something interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get familiar with Task uh, Task Studio. I'm sorry, Task Editor. Uh, in the FCUX, mm -hmm. it's called Task Editor. In BizHawk, it's called Task Studio. But they they serve exactly right. the same function. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, I'm not very well versed in it. I only use the mouse interface with it. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty bad about tasking that way. I'm still kind of old school, so it's okay if you want to make fun of me. But I went to frame. Oh, well, I went to frame. <laughs> I don't know, fifty-one or so. Fifty-one works. Well, that's interesting. I thought fifty didn't. Okay. Well, guess what? By some random chance, I just found it. So, <laughs> and sometimes it, it works that way. It's fifty-one. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fifty-one. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Yeah. So that's the very first frame that we can press start on. So I'm gonna now. Now that I've started the, I'm gonna make a new save state in slot two. Okay. Um, changes the slot the. Keys. Okay, there's just nothing. So you can't select your way through it. In fact, the only button that works is the A button on the next screen. Four. So the next game, next thing we're going to press is A. Okay. <clears throat> um. So I'm going to try pressing A when it's fully loaded, say, frame 111 or so, and see if it works there. And it does. So it's somewhere between, let's try now, try frame 90. So it's somewhere between one, uh, 90 and 111, so now I'm going to try 100. 100 didn't work, so I'm going to make a save state on 100 because it takes a while to get there. I have a lot, I, I do this kind of badly. So the task studio method, of course, is superior in a binary search in some ways. Because I'm hunting and pecking, you can just click on stuff. Yeah. 
What's between 105 and 111? Oops. I don't see why I can't seem to choose this safe state, even though I have... If there is two odd keys uh, feeding for the slot... Doesn't yeah, two hot keys are bad. Don't do that. Yeah, I don't know Shift plus F something is the hot key for save states. Huh, Big Bears? I'm going to have to take your word on it. Yes. Yeah, so... This is where Link 7s is going to have to fill us in because I just don't use Task Editor <laughs> enough. Uh, I admit to this, I'm bad. Yeah, Link was doing pretty well on that. It's super fun to watch. So Link says that the Task Editor probably manages all of the states and disables the normal states. He might be right about that. I, I think know. it's possible. And really, For Link 7s is frame. right. It really is saving a state on every, each and every frame. OK, all right. So when I click back, I just, it's the equivalent of load. Yeah, pretty much. He says, uh, so he's okay. saying that uh, media says you can't save states in task editor. You can right click in bookmarks to save a bookmark. So you'd basically make save states okay. like a bookmark. All right, makes sense. So uh, did you, wh where were you trying uh, so to find the? It is between 105 and 111, and I'm going to try 109, and 109 works, so now it's between 105 and 109, so let's try 107, and 107 didn't work, so it's 108 or 109. You can kind of see how I'm, I, whoops, 108. Yeah, whoops. you go fishing, right? Yeah, except I'm doing it really badly right now. So it was 108, let's frame 108. I'll double check 107 just to make sure, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely 108. <laughs> and now I would like... I would do none at that. It was that, right? Yeah, 108 works. All right. Oops. <laughs> this game looks really terrible. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good music to you, right? Well, the worst thing is it appears to have bunny hop physics. Note that every time I jump, I move forward faster. So we're going to spend exactly. our entire time bunny hopping. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so let's save ourselves a little bit of trouble. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it really, this one seems... Now, Link 7s, are there any existing runs of this game? Has anyone even made a whip of it? Uh, I have seen a speed run of it on uh, on YouTube, yeah. Uh, yeah, but is there a task it of it anywhere? Task it was, there was no task, no. So right now I'm just experimenting with the physics. Okay, so this game you cannot go left. Nope. Okay, I see I've got a gun down here. I can duck. Man, the graphics on this are really terrible. I can shoot. <laughs> I appear to have an infinite ammo. And the music glitches when you when you shoot things. Yes. And let's see, what, how's our lag frames going? So this entire first section here is nothing but lag frames. <laughs> you can't, you can't it's even... It's terrible. Yeah, I'm looking at it, it's all red. Yeah, the first frame you can even do anything is about 500. So we're going to have to talk Five about lag management. I get. Yeah, you're probably right. You, got, you, you found the first frame you can make input was 592? Uh, yeah, because it's uh, in test editor. Red, uh, so it's 592, yeah. I think before that, the character control itself. And then I will do that. Uh, it's later than that. Uh, I get inputs at 592. Oh, but you can't use your gun until after. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe 592 isn't tried. Maybe it's 593, but yeah. Yeah, that's right in it. It's okay. It won't hurt anything. But you do want to yeah, no. You do want to jump as soon as you possibly can. Yeah, 593. Okay, so I'm not crazy. <laughs> You're not crazy. Okay, so we're going to do that. 
Let's see, so one, two, and then jump, because I'm going, I realize the jump is fastest, so we're going to bunny hop our way clear through the game. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, we, we can jump so high. Uh, as long as you all day, you can. Nope, you have to hold A on 594. I'm doing it on... Oh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you're right, Dad. It's not a fixed height. You can... So 594 is the first frame you can jump on. So I'm actually going to make my save state that. And actually, I've made some ridiculous number of save states. So we're going to jump. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to let go of yeah. jump and show that jumping is, in fact, very variable. Yeah. Oh, I can show it too. Yeah, you actually have a fair bit of control over jumping, which is really good. Yeah. So now the question is... Where does the maximum... Well, here, I'll show you what I mean. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up. I'm just going to free run and jump a bunch. The entire duration you're jumping, mm -hmm. you seem to... I'm just curious if shorter, smaller jumps get you there faster than longer, tall jumps. Longer jump, yeah. That's what I'm asking myself, too. I guess it doesn't really matter much, from what I can tell. Uh, maybe I'm wrong on this, but I think that if you hit the ceiling, you will stop right uh, your momentum. Was that the whole thing? Oh no 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 no! Oh my goodness, that was that was the whole level. Yep. Yeah, the game is not really long. Okay, or very hard. <laughs> all right. Well, this is going to be easy. Um, all right. Well. well... <clears throat> all right. Well, we're going to do this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> one of the things that is kind of interesting um you would, you would guess tall um yeah and it seems like it's almost advantageous to jump in a way that I wonder if, if uh, firing a shot helps you in your speed. Oh, good. You can actually... Here, let me, let me double check. So I'm going to check my physics here. So I'm at 619, 620, 621. I'm already falling down. I'm going to let go of the jump button. And on 624, before his feet look like they're touching the ground, I'm going to try jumping again. It worked. Okay, let's try doing the same thing, but now we're going to let go on 620... Or so, and I'm going to try jumping on 623. I can. Wow, goodness. How about trying you to? You don't have to touch the, the ground. No, you don't. So how about 621? Nope. So let me let go at 620. Well, 619. So let go at 619. Go to 621. J can't jump. Okay, do the same thing. Jump. Let go at 619. Jump on 22. Can't do it. How about? 23. 23 works. Yeah. It's fun that we're in sync. So... <laughs> yes. Now, how many frames back can I let go and still jump on frame 623? Okay. I know that's a weird way of doing it, but I'm going to let go no, 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 that... at frame 615. Yeah, okay. So the Fair apex of the jump. Too. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's how far back you can go. So, but it doesn't seem to change my position. Like, uh, depending on where I let go, say if I let go on 614. Mm -hmm. I'm letting go on uh, 612. It works. At and then 622. I'm picking up at 622. Well, I'm looking at 622. His fingers, his hand, his arm, or his, his, his hand, his foot are just touching the building. Now, 
Uh, so let me compare here. So 614. Let go of the button. Now, 622. He's touching the building. Now, 622. I'm going to hold the button all the way to six, uh, frame 622 and see if it's the same way. Exactly the same. So, before the end of the apex of the jump, you have uh, from 14 to 23. So, 8 frames? So, you have an 8 frame window to let go and still be at the apex of your jump. That's good. This game is going to be easy to task because it's not like it's frame perfect. You can be a little sloppy and still get the exact same result. Um, and I now know that I need to let go and then jump again on frame 23. And if you hold longer, it also seems to have no impact at all. Yeah, I know. So now the question Would is... Would that introduce lag in any way if I press more buttons? Like, if I press unnecessary buttons, do I need to remove them? Like, it would, it would look sloppier, but... I mean, maybe you could clean it up later, but... Yeah. I don't know. I, I wouldn't okay. worry about it. All right. I can't believe we're bunny hopping. That's, that's, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, we're going to bunny hop the way... All the way this game oops and why isn't it oh yeah because and your gun doesn't become available until quite a bit later can i shoot now what button yeah you is can it? that's the b button b button All right pew does it serve a purpose yeah it doesn't make me yeah. all right um so from here on out, I'm probably going to diverge from you. Are you? Yeah. I'm going to try a technique. Ooh. So, it almost worked. Maybe if I... This is tasking in a nutshell. You just go back and forth and try things over and over again. Now, you're in Task Studio because you're smart and I'm not. <laughs> um, well, I think that the people who gave me advice are smart. Yeah. So, let me see how far off this ledge I can walk before he falls. So, as you can see, his right foot just dipped below the level of the building in my view on the right hand corner because i'm in the upper right and he's in the upper left um I'm on the upper left, yeah. so one pixel before he fell let me make a save state here because i'm being really silly the way i do save states is not necessarily smart nope that's too late 24. Nope. My strategy did not work, so I am not going to do it. Well, at least you tried. Yeah, but I also had to back up one because I had advanced too far forward to catch the optimal jump. Oh, okay. Jump set up. Yeah. That's and you kind of hear how the audio is doing funny things. <laughs> <laughs> oh am I oh yeah I'm getting I'm catching it I just need to press 8 before right no maybe not okay so this is a case where ending up on the ground is not necessarily desirable so I'm going to delay no. my jump until I can land on the building I almost I missed it so let me go back by the way should we add in this is up to you are you recording this in a way that you would be upset if there was music oh uh, no 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 now i got a soundtrack yeah which is a little bit better than the puss in boots soundtrack right yeah i'm gonna basically downright mute mine out to be almost nothing yeah. like I you'll still hear it in the idea. background but just a little so I tried short hops earlier, and it didn't seem to help. 
But what I am going to do... You know what, I'm just going to disable sound. This is just dumb. <laughs> Wait a second. Am... I think that if you go lower than where you started your jump, you lose the life. Uh, that's exactly where I'm headed. Yeah, I... So you can jump, you can do a big hop, but don't get uh, lower than where you started at. Um, Maybe something was wrong. Something. Ooh, I like this song. 881 didn't work. How about 882? All right. So if I am to do this... Perfect. So I'm trying a different strategy. I'm trying to constantly stay as high as I can so that I hit my head. To the, to the roof. Yeah. So that would be 882. I am loving this, but maybe it's a little loud. Just a dad. So he's saying that even if you do shorter hops, you should minimize time on the ground. That's a reason to avoid rooftops. I disagree because when you hit your head, you get an opportunity to jump quicker and you retain your speed. Yeah, we do. Uh, I could be wrong on my theory. I'd love someone else to try this. And it sounds like uh, Eric Hander. Eric Hander? Hang on. I'm going to try the short hop. Uh... Eric Andruski. Yeah, you try the short hop. I'm going to try the rooftop method. Sure. What would be considering in a... Okay. Uh, maybe just one. All right. So from advance, that's a thing. And then let's try this now. And would that be all right? I haven't even had to dodge an enemy yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you copy paste a section? Like, to yes. short up, it's every 12 frames. So instead of just counting 12 frames every time, can I just copy paste a string of 12 uh, inputs? Hey, cool. I landed on the guy. All right. Um, oh, Henny, I'm sorry. It's, it's boring. I believe you can copy. Um, I think I'm doing it, doing it right now. Yep. I'm doing a terrible job of being a teacher because I'm getting too involved in the process of doing it myself. <laughs> no, no, that's perfect. I I'm learning as well. So I've just hit a situation where I, uh, I really do want Task Studio open, even though you guys can't see it. I'm um, a Task Editor. Yeah. Um, I have really good input, but I don't want to lose what I have. I just want to back up. So there's another way to do it without being in Task Studio and or Task Editor and still get the same result, which is I'm going to I'm, I'm on save slot six. I'm going to make a save and save seven. I'm going to hit Q. In my case, that's bound to make the movie read only. I'm going to go back to slot six and hit O to load the state. That will preserve my inputs so that I can come down here and then put it in, in uh, go back to seven, hit Q, hit U to load my state, in my case. And now I'm falling and I can experiment with jumping off this guy's head. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so you can crush him. But the first frame I can jump at is, looks like 2001, 12.02. So I'm taking damage, but it's not slowing me down, and I don't care. Like, I, yeah. I actually don't care at all. At some point, I don't, I don't know when I took damage. When did I take damage? Oh, now I gotta know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Q. Oh, it's uh, during... I think it's those big uh, red things in the sky. So I'm read-only. 
His head bounces very funny. So I'm re-watching what I've done so far. Oh, I can do that earlier than that. Oh, I'm still... It was indeed... Oops. Did oh, I, uh... that's so strange. that I so did someone find a memory location uh, for our X and Y positions yeah I never care about the damage <laughs> so I don't think I took damage from him when I killed him this guy down here I'm gonna hit Q um, okay now I'm in oh. read right Okay, now I'm in record mode. I had to load the state. I like this song. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah, you take damage, but it doesn't do anything to your... To your speed now. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to. So 1201 is too soon. Alright, so I guess this is maybe the most efficient way. I'm not entirely certain that, that I'm doing everything perfectly. Uh, we're Let's trying stuff. Let's see. You. Thirty-one works. Let's try thirty. Thirty doesn't work. Thirty-one it is. But when you get to the end of the level, we'll see who is fastest, and that'll be yep, really interesting. That's the point. I think I'm gonna lose. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I don't know. Twenty-eight. I will have tasked to the end of the level possibly sooner than you, although you're actually ahead. Are you? I think. I don't know. I'm flying over part of it. But my my way of doing this is really easy, so. As long as I don't run out of HP, my face thinking everything should be really quick. Oh, I need to delay that. So, Media Magnet, I think it's open up for you to mess around with lights now. Oh, what have I asked for? <laughs> You've asked for it. I have. Hey, thanks that numbers guy. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome to my nightclub. Yeah. How considerate of you, media. <laughs> okay, so I'm going through a section where there are two horseshoes coming at me. I'm going to land right before... Hey, I can't see... Hang on. Uh, media, how, when can you fire your gun? Can you do it on the falling edge of your jump? I think so. Pretty sure you can. Seems like you have to have to hold it more than one frame, though. Did I just despawn an enemy? Maybe. 
and it's gone. <laughs> okay, sure. How'd you make it, it go away? I don't know. It's there, and now look. It's not. Hmm. To me, things on screen? There's nothing on screen. <laughs> oh, I missed. Oh, well. But there's another of this type to spawn left side, so maybe well, they spawn as well. I don't know. Oh, that seems cool. Is it too late, though? That's perfect. What happened? Uh, you can press left and B on a single frame. Your character turned up while being mid there and shoot and continue its momentum. He will still shoot backward. Like, if you look on my screen, I'll shoot. So, one note, uh, we've each completed our level. I don't know if exactly the right frame, but I think I'm ahead a little bit. Uh, I was slower than you, though. From a speed testing perspective, I was actually behind. Um, but don't forget to go to File and Movie. Uh, well, first of all, save a state where, where you're at. So make a new state, save it. I, I cannot save state like uh, like we said. That's what prevents me from doing that. Yeah. Well, I mean, save your movie. Go to File and Save. Um, and then if you're ready... I can't seem to do that either. That's... So I'm going to go to stop the movie. I'm going to play my movie. I'm doing the kind of the laborious way. So here's what my movie looks like from scratch. Oh, I just realized um, I had the screen filter on. Let me change that. There we go. Now it's not so dim. All right. So this is my movie from scratch. And actually, uh, here, we're going to do this right like this. So uh, movie, play from beginning. And yeah. I'm going to mute out audio for just a second, and I'm going to go to sound and put that audio back in, uh, but only halfway, like up here. It's a pretty noisy game. So here's, here's what it sounds like. Ask me if I care about taking damage. <laughs> hey, do I go? Do you care about taking damage? Nope. <laughs> yep. That's the whole thing. This game is terrible. <laughs> Well, that's the first level. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. Well, that that's gonna be it for tonight. I think that's it for tonight. Yeah, we finished yeah. the first level rather than the whole game, but the whole game was optimistic. <laughs> yeah, sure. Of course it was, but I, I have a pretty good idea how it. Yeah. So one of the things I did is I prioritized being able to stay on high ledges. So sometimes I delayed jumping, and yeah, jumped so that. that I could hit my head and land on a higher ledge than uh, than a lower ledge. I'm sure there's okay. other ways to route this. In fact, I'm positive there is, but I don't think I care enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but we may have given a fin have given them a little bit of pointers and a good ideas of what to do or what not to do. Yeah. <laughs>